There's some things I wanted to show you. Some things I figured out. Hope you like it. I apologize in front from for being poor, but it cannot be helped. So give me one second to tune this uh, my device and everything to prepare for lunch we have some interesting stuff coming your way likes or subs are not required shares are okay so we're gonna start okay now we have the star command we have uh, sys death bird x the pg ssbc pg ssbd you know pgs those are prototypes the pgss okay now we are gonna have a uh, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the PG PGS SBD. Device is working. Not good, not bad, but can be helped. We need to wait until it loads and everything. I want to thank you, thank the ship technicians. Technician, he has a great stuff. I hope. Uh, he and other people uh, really like the uh, ideas and descriptions and uh, everything else. It may prove useful. Oh, come on. Now, we have the SysDev PG SSBD, that's a prototype bird drive, that's a prototype bird drive I figured out, I have several, several of them, the idea is the following, we have a like a jet engine for the ion drive here is the intake here is the outtake you know like a particle collector so it gives a boost we have normal thrusters uh, and everything now you can do whatever you want and figure out how you want to configure your ships this is a SysDev special video, so it may prove uh, useful at a time. The ship is good in my opinion, but uh, it looks like a jet engine design, a big jet engine design, like a carrier or something. Okay, we gotta see. No, that's the laser leaf. Okay. Now we're gonna load the PGSFBD. We're gonna load the PGSSBC. I'm pardon me for loading screens and everything, but it cannot be helped at the moment. 
I want to thank all my viewers for paying attention and for all the likes and comments. Okay, here we go. We are in orbit at the asteroid field. Looks pretty good. I'm a little too big, so I'm hitting some rocks. Yeah. So let me let me just give you the example of what I did here. You know. This is a uh, little modifications to the bird drive system. Yeah, yes, as you can see, I put the reactor up front, and uh, the rest is uh, similar. Yeah, but uh, uh, I found a spot for one more engine and. Uh, for the other more engine because the, the ship had had only uh, had only three engines out back now it has four okay let's check check the design hold on hold on let's check the design yeah you see what I did here I lowered this part this part remodeled a little bit this 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 parts okay now that's a bc version okay let's uh, let's now try and load the uh, the bird x yes or and the star razor x okay the system bird x i hope you're gonna like it this is a C-Step special with a It will not take long but uh, it may prove useful to somebody You may analyze uh, the design uh, and uh, everything else in between It may prove useful to players and modders and everything. So this is a useful video if you want to call it that way. Ship technician has great stuff. Uh, I follow him and uh, he he really he really does his job well. You know, like a engineer of one of a kind. No, I'm pardon me for loading this much, but uh, I have I have too much data on hands. Now, as you can see, we modified a little bit the bird drive and everything else let's take a peek pardon me for graphics now uh, I will explain what I had in mind with this design you know it's way bigger than, than my base okay now this is a bird 10, SysDev burn 10, the prototype. Okay, we're gonna load, load it up. And I will guide you uh, to the explanation of the design. Just give me a second to uh, go to the ship builder. Okay. I need to exit the ship. I 
I'm thirsty. I need water. Mm. Thank you. First of all, this is a big ship, so we need to punch in the console command. To be able to modify, we have enough credits that doesn't matter, we can always add more. Okay, now let's check the shipbuilder. It needs to load. This is a SysDev uh, Sys Bird 10, and this is the Razor Leaf, my backup ship. Okay, now, pardon me if, you, if there is any errors, yes there is, let's check the errors, aha, uh -huh. here, we, here we are, those are the errors, we, we need to fix that, uh, yeah, it's nominal now, now, pardon me, I changed the cockpit to give me the little bit centered view on this part over here and the forward. I removed the uh, braking engines from other places and moved them here. So now, uh, my point was the uh, rad jammers and rad collectors to collect radiation and channel it into the reactor that powers the shield and everything else you know and we have shielded cargo holds here in order to reduce the front, radi front radiation of the ship <coughs> now this is a captain quarters that doesn't mind I just upgraded the design and everything put a fuser DC 40, 43 reactor because it has all sides uh, locking points you know these, po these points I upgraded the shield yeah and now now we gonna we gonna pardon me <coughs> This is a little construction mess because everything is tight and we have a antenna here before the landing bay and everything. You know, I filled this design to the maximum the way I could. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. This ship also has four engines like a similar uh, design from previous prototypes but I had in mind something different as you can see we have engine and we have a braking engines you know so my idea was this we have engines doesn't matter which kind there is thrusters ion drive or some particle engines or some and we have a braking engines as collectors of those particles in order to power up the these babies you know the ion drives jet engines you know so it has a uh, reinforcement boost this 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 can also be a, as a generator of the of the engine this, this can be collector and enhancer this one also can be con collector and enhancer and amplifier of the produced particles we have one here also and we have one here also as it's a braking engine but I, I intended it to be a collector and amplifier for the power output of the uh, energy now we also have the brake in uh, the engine here but it can be also an, an ion engine a supernova ion engine or something 
and we have a collector the braking you can put uh, some other braking engine here it looks uh, rather good you know so in order to do that in order to do stuff like that we have a generator and we have a collector and enhancer that channels the power to the rest of the structure of the ship and then we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve engines thirteen engines as ion drive engines 14 15 16 and uh, on, on top and below that means 32 17 32 34 33 35 36 37 38 ion engines and you can count these also and the frontal size you you may count as particle intake for for, radi for the radiation and everything else now this design this design is uh, looks pretty good you know it has many goodies and now in order to gather such so much energy for the trust uh, a part of it is uh, rechanneled through uh, the radiation collectors and I cannot do this to show you because uh, I do not have the creation kit yet but uh, these uh, red collectors can gather radiation and channel it to the, the reactor and channel it uh, back and forth you know and the reactor can then uh, power the guns you know power the frontal side uh, be before the ship uh, opens uh, a jump point and everything to have maximum <laughs> energy for penetration of space and for long distance jumps so now uh, if you catch my meaning the ship is uh, design is okay so we are gonna try and confirm the modifications because we have had an error and we're gonna fly a bit into the space there the ship is pretty big we need to wait until it loads and there it is now you see what I done with this thing it's pretty awesome we have also braking engines but there can be particle collectors and everything yeah this is the bird then okay now I need to reduce the heat it's pretty pretty warm here okay this ship is pretty ge good it looks pretty good now let's let's check the settings for the interface i need i need a field of view give me a second yeah ship field of view is at maximum and we are ready to take off from the ground you just start your generators produce power and slam the thrust into the ion jet engines and lift off there we go full power an auto generating machine Nice. The more the more thrust your engines produces or uh, generators, particle generators of your engines, the more it uh, 
gives speed and of course it, 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 it all depends on your skills for speed and everything we will take a photo This is an iron jet engine spaceship. It's a prototype. It's a bird 10. This is a SysDef uh, prototype. I have several of them. I, w I was working, working uh, on them. You can put m better reactor, more crew, and uh, everything else in between. So let's check how it looks inside. Nice. Let's check the firing sequence. It has auto guns, it has normal guns. It will look even better with Vanguard guns, you know. Better fire, firing rate, angle and everything else. And of course it has, I, I like turrets, it has turrets. You know, it's pretty fine. Okay, now let's let's give me a second let's check let's check if we have something different no we don't not on this safe okay pardon me by but I have to load again I'm loading the star laser then I hope you're gonna leave a like if nothing else it may prove useful to somebody I need to rest a bit it's 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 too hot here uh, I can't cannot stand the heat okay give me a second and I'll, uh, until it loads so you will get my point okay this is a star razor it, it is a build, built uh, build in progress you know it is a build in progress for the uh, fleet command the, the star command 10 ship you know this is a mid build I was just testing out some goodies and everything else for the carrier build you know for the carrier build that that is uh, looks like a star destroyer or something you know but uh, I needed the parts for the cockpit and everything you know so as you can see we have uh, space here for the vehicles for the troops for the fighters and everything you know lots of fuel tanks the shield to carry the fleet you know this is a fleet ship this is a razor x but uh, this is a work in progress you know i was tired so i make a, made a save before before i I managed to finish it okay let's check the uh, speed speed is okay but it can be improved you know this this, this ship is not uh, finished this is just a test test build this is like a carrier okay now let's pardon me but I need to load again and we have the uh, Razer X 10 Razor 10 and we have come to the star command 10 now this is the final build of the razor razor ship this is one of my exotic ship the star magus
I made stuff like this uh, just to show you that uh, some some there are there are always good stuff. I, I like ships. We all like ships. The, yeah, and even even a work in progress can prove magnificent. Magnificent. Pardon me for loading. Okay, I was last video. I was mid combat and I was attacking key, so I need to repair. I need to repair the uh, structural damage because of the key assault with uh, with the carrier. <coughs> it was. It looks. Uh, a little bit different with the field of view when you load the ship you just need to go to change the ship part and save it and uh, the field of view uh, comes back again to the to the full to the full ship you know so this is a star command 10 as you can see it has plenty of reactor crew shield it, it's a similar design as a star destroyer we all like the star destroyer but uh, this one was intended as a carrier you know for vehicles you know you can store a vehicle here and just jump with your vehicle with a jetpack out of the here unload more troops for ground assault you have side entrances and everything you know you have fleet refueling capacity of 2610 fuel you have frontal turrets side turrets and everything else antennas communications uh, you know the whole shenanigans the reactor and everything so i'm gonna i'm gonna try and land somewhere i need to scan the sewer it's frozen planet okay frozen crevices okay so we gonna, gonna have to take a little bit of tour to explain the design you can argue you can comment uh, only like uh, I take comments I like the chat so in order to to accommodate the design I mean I can design almost anything but I, I, I'm lacking money and I'm lacking tools and everything and have I have time and everything this is okay ship so we're gonna exit the ship so we can deploy ground troops robots and everything from from the bay okay the ship is also not 100 percent finished you know it's not 100 percent finished oh i'm stuck okay i'm not stuck anymore the ship is also not 100 percent finished but it, it is it is the best i can give you under cert certain conditions you know so let's take a little bit of tour let's see if we can jump here some somewhere I need a better boost pack this ship is a C class carrier you know okay here we go you know this is a c-class carrier one of my uniques one of my unique designs as always some people find my videos interesting i want to thank them you can modify with the creation kit all you want you know enhance and everything so the idea is this we have this space over here for like uh, transport area 
transport area, refuel area, the fighter area, the drone area, the troop area, assembly area for large assaults on planets, on bases and invasions and everything, you know. As of course we, we have, I have parts only, only I have only parts which I can work but I, I still did not learn how to, how to create parts and everything and everything. So we have like a command post here, observation for the post for the troops deployments and everything. And we have uh, here, here and here we have a control center for launching ships in this direction and as dock station, you know, ouch, I hurt myself for the dock station and everything see we have a, a fleet antennas here and here we have a back view for approaching ships and of course we have a ground ground part for deploying ground troops robots and such I hope you're gonna like it. This, this is a, it, this is just a showcase design. You know, you can do something similar. I, I hope you're gonna do it. So let's say, let's say we have a vehicle here, and you jump into the vehicle and start, start running with the vehicle, and you go, and you go, and give me a second. I need, I need, I need an amp. Thank you. And you go meow, with your buggy and you wheel into the field. You deploy the buggy and run around and everything. You know, a buggy with a jetpack. And when you, when you come back, you come near the ship, you deploy the buggy's jetpack and you store it back in your ship. I mean it's a neat it's a neat idea you know and you and you we can we can have some landing station here for the buggy when you can hook it while you fly in space and we can have uh, like a meeting area for your troops here uh, if we, if the game goes multiplayer and everything if the models wanna populate the ship uh, with troops with the security troops with cis dev troops with crimson fleet and everything you know this is a very good model and of course uh, this part is a, is a communication part it goes up in, into the tower and this part here is the communication array from docking ship docking ships this part in front is also a communication area for the ship you know for the bridge and we have here here and here we have everything we need to observe you can put uh, turrets here cannons missile launchers and everything you can see the whole area of space we have a uh, plenty of portholes for the observation center and uh, everything else it's a neat design so ouch oh give me a second and we I could use a bigger landing bay to deploy troops okay now we're gonna board the ship so I hope you're gonna like it at least you know, leave a comment. Uh, pardon me for loading scenes. Okay, this ship looks good, but those antennas are a little bit in the way of the field of view. So I'm gonna now exit my seat to show you a bit of little, uh, bit of little bit of the area. 
that you know we, we can go to the station and everything this is like a storage area and everything with uh, computers and everything you know where people can monitor the situation uh, from the fleet operations and from space it will be neat if you have 50 crew <coughs> pardon me if it will be neat if you can have 50 crew you know and we go down I know somebody people hate ladders but it is what it is we can go down a little bit and we can oversee the uh, deployment area from this window and of course we have uh, the uh, armory and everything uh, the prison you know stuff like that and uh, give me a second did I did I no this is just a storage okay okay we have another back part you know we have some sleeping quarters uh, or you know something useful here some desks we need a calm center here or something like it okay this is also the frontal view of the deployment area for command and control and of course we have a lab the back view for lab results of the fleet analysis I mean the ship is pretty big it's, it's not much it's, it only has a little ladders you know it's not uh, it's not too much the ship is not too much of the con as construction likewise it's pretty flat you know it is pretty flat some parts connect uh, the way they connect you know we have labs we have armories it's a fleet ship you know we have labs armories and everything for the space research projects you know laboratories, infirmaries for the fleet operations we can go up here also you know we have all sorts of uh, equipment areas the ship is pretty big uh, habs uh, for habs Li likewise with habs that it's pretty big you know you need to work your way around but w with uh, ship inter internal maps and everything it will be it will be pretty awesome it will be pretty awesome to know your way around if you have a ship map in your UI to find your way around I mean uh, it's a maze yes but uh, you know the big ships are always a maze you know see we have several kinds of captain quarters you know several kinds of captain captain's quarters for the command command people we this is a stroud captain quarters we have nova captain quarters we have several armories for the equipment and everything We have a landing area here, we have an armory here, and uh, everything else. We have another captain's quarters. This is a captain's ships, you know, captain's ship. Okay, let's find our way back. We go even more front. I mean, the ship is pretty flat, except one or two floors, and uh, you know, let's go even more forward to show you this is a storage area simple storage area 
and we have a uh, crew quarters and everything ha bigger hab for crew quarters to accommodate the crew that operates the ship you know and we can now go a little bit up one floor into the storage area the cargo hold which you can modify for your troops and everything you know storage materials ammunition guns weapons cargo we have another storage area here guns weapons cargo robots and everything you know we can go down here and we can go up here this is a little bit long video but I, I hope you like it I mean I have I have some good subscribers that like that likes good ships you know we have a mess hall and everything you know you can go down here also into this into the storage area and another storage area to feed the crew to have supplies for the crew yes we can also oversee the troops here's the kitchen and everything the refrigerator I need to populate it and frontal view of the fleet combat you know here's some fun and games the meeting room and everything okay now let's try to find our way to the bridge in this mess uh, let's see if there, there is anything anything else forward wise no 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 okay how about here No, okay, this is sleeping quarters. This is a sleeping quarters, okay. It's a pretty big ship, this is a computer core and everything. We need to go back. Laboratory is here is back. Where the chip we we need it, we did not he been here yet. Let's see what we have here. We have a storage department, the mid level storage department, and uh, on one side and on other side we have a engineering room, the fuel control, and everything you know. The good is there is one on the other side, you know, it's it's kind of symmetrical. It's kind of symmetrical, you know. Okay, we need to go back. We need to go back, it's pretty big ship. Most pieces, uh, we, we are on the center of the ship from the back side now. We need to go up. It's already dark, so we're gonna turn on the light. It's pretty big fleet ship, you know. And we're gonna. I do not. I do. I do know you do not like ladders, but uh, it's fine by me for now. And we have uh, the armory and everything for the bridge crew to arm themselves in the case of penetration and attack of a hostile takeover of the ship and now we reached where are we let's see yeah we reached the bigger area we reached the bigger area uh, of the ship to have an overview of the uh, fleet fleet and of course there are, these are the sleeping quarters for the bridge crew 
it's a pretty good design in my my opinion but uh, you may modify the way you like and here are the uh, meeting areas and everything uh, the you can call this have whatever you like supplies storage uh, requirements here we can go on some else station and now we go to the bridge and of course we close the door and we can go below as well you can add prison hubs and everything uh, I have I put a engine room from for direct control of the engines of the ship you know in the case of sabotage and takeover if somebody had in mind a uh, computer sabotage ship takeover and sabotage in space you know you can override directly from the bridge the main control room main main control room you can put bricks and everything you know mess holes whatever you like okay let's take off we have some red light on our screens yeah that's that's the uh, damage okay we're gonna repair in space or in the process so uh, I hope hope you like this series of, of prototypes this is a system prototype tips I hope you enjoy it uh, I may create more depends on your skills you have if you have vanguard skills and everything if you if you have creation kit and everything as you can see we are here at key this is where I left off with the fight at at the uh, last video you know so somebody likes the spread of the guards I also like to have a backup turret and everything so you know I like ships we all like ships and uh, I have a system bird X that is a uh, a prototype ship with jet, iron jet engines uh, for, for space, you know, with self enhancing uh, generation of particles to be able to boost the engines and the reactor, the shields, and everything. I changed the cockpit a little bit because I didn't like that uh, Damien's cockpit because of the pilot seat was this. I, wa I want the pilot seat to be centered you know so let's try and jump somewhere I, I'm damaged but I need some power after a combat If you can have 50, 60 crew on ship uh, doing various tasks with communications, it will be great, you know. We can make it invasions and everything. Okay, let's... Here we, here we are at Gold Star Base, so let's scan this moon. Let's travel to Strix. <laughs> And of course, uh, I would like to visit the uh, Schrodinger system. We're gonna land to see how it lands. Th those are pretty good animations. I want to compare my ships with the Colander, you know. As you can see. It's, e it's easy to de to invade up uh, uh, it's easy to invade the uh, planet 
you know it's easy to, to invade the planet if you have a, a flat spot and everything you know you can launch your sh smaller ships from orbit fighters deploy troops vehicles for exploration probes drones and everything whatever you can think of so let's let's go to the base and change the ship this is a six engine build but first we're gonna jump to Schrodinger to compare the uh, sa size uh, hold on I, I do not need so many shields I need a jump driver okay let's uh, there we there it is Schrodinger the commander okay we have plenty of fuel for the fleet we're gonna jump and the ship jumps and here we are at the commander Plus the engines, scan that thing, yes, target lock, okay, we're gonna dock, this is gonna be a good picture, it's the middle of the asteroid field. Wrong button, sorry. So. Our fleet ship is taking over the commander in space, you know. There, this is a great, great photo opportunity, you know. Bigger C-class ships takes over M-class with troops, attack, and boarding mechanisms, you know. I wish I had a light on my camera but I do not you know if you if the ships found something in space like this that that's it's full of aliens or hostiles you can take your crew of 10 10 crew armed to the teeth and creel, creel, clear the ship and do a hostile takeover of the M class ship this is a great spot I hope it's it stays that way. Okay, we're gonna undock, and we're gonna when we're gonna go to get the bird drive. Okay, power to the uh, grab drive. Let's go. We do not need data for now. Let's jump a bit. This is risky jumping into the asteroid belt, but uh, we jump in other asteroid belt hope we did not collide with something okay we're gonna land at gold star base this is a strider b ship it has a f good frontal view from the cockpit you can see at my channel my videos leave a like if you like Okay, we are we are at Strix. The base did not change much. We just gonna modify the ship. I mean, exchange the star command for the uh, 
seize, seize that bird then and put it as a home ship and wait until it loads there we go it loaded now we're gonna do the same and jump to the commander with an improved ion jet engine it looks pretty good the sun is fine okay power up all systems here we go we have some excess power looks pretty good at, at, at takeoff this ship is repaired okay okay weapons test everything works fine now we're gonna jump to Colander uh, to Schrodinger where is it there is this Schrodinger okay we're gonna jump to Schrodinger doesn't matter which spot iron reinforcement drive is working there we go here we are right at spot we lost the asteroid belt gonna dock if asteroid belt was at the same place it would be even better picture okay we did dock now let's let's de do the photo mod to take a good photo opportunity so the bird drive ship you can have you can put robots on a mission and to explore space you know you can put robots uh, on auto explore with uh, with this ship as a quest for gathering intelligence unknown signals and uh, planets because there is a whole lot of dots out there you know it's infinite as you can see we, we found the colander again and we're gonna take a good picture there we can board the ship to have some fun in games so we're gonna board the ship to simulate the uh, takeover of the ship if we have if I had a crew I would like to take them with me one by one and talk to them about the unknown what we got what we find we gonna let's see that's an extended mag okay that's one by one this is assassin okay that's one by one semi-automatic Kodma is automatic and uh, we're gonna have a big bang we have an extended max shotty that's a pretty good for cle clearing out uh, targets in s unknown spaces we have a uh, instigating tombstone with extended mag you know and we have uh, advanced mag shot we have several grenades to clear out any enemies 
and let's see if we have some additional firearms we have let's say we we have we have a shock troops with a negotiator that penetrated the I was already here th that penetrates the and takes over the ship combat protocols like stormtroopers and uh, you know bad space battles you know yes but I also need a bigger uh, that's inaccessible fine we need to go the other way I also need bigger habs you know let's see where if, if there is a critter here no there is not I've already dealt with them I pick up the uh, yes but this is what I was talking about habs like this we need habs like this on the ship you know on bigger ships Habs like this in order to jump around with a jetpack, fight, fight, uh, fight uh, in in the ship itself for incoming troops and everything, you know, a landing bay, a bigger landing bay like this landing bay, by, but but three, four, five, five, uh, five times wide to unload massive troops and everything, you know. You know that would I that would I like to see about to players to do for the players to do stuff like that. You know, and of course I like the code map because it's I like the code map because it has plenty of ammo and we can s simply storm a ship like this with plenty of troops for a immediate takeover it will be a good story it will be a good story you know all-around attack on the uh, M-class ship You know, nice. Weightlifting goes up. Uh, I lost my way around, but okay, I think yeah, here is the exit. I think here is the exit. Yeah, is it? No. No. I missed my way around. No, okay, does not matter. It's easy to get lost in the bigger ships. We should have a ship map, sensors, and everything, you know. I need to find my way around. Oh, we have found some goodies. What's that? That's a contraband chest. I do not need that. And this, this is how it looks with uh, hostile takeovers, you know. 
a pretty good design I think the developer for making the design of a ship it's pretty solid you know and here we are at the starting area we we found uh, found our way back and we can now desert the ship The crew can stay behind and repair the ship and do a takeover. To repair the ship, to add robot crew and whatever you can think of in, in between uh, to, to help uh, repairs. You can make your own fleet by stealing this kind of the ships, you know. And now we're gonna undock. And we're gonna do a back photo. We're gonna do a back photo when leaving the conquer target in space and our ship goes to explore even further this is a good photo I like taking photos you know size comparison likewise it's pretty good this is not a M class but a C class but at a distance it looks pretty good Okay, let's take another photo. So we have for the thumbnails. And this ship it has been taken over. <laughs> nice, we can go save and continue to our subscribers to give them the good stuff I hope you like this series of couple of ships but this is uh, the uh, bird 10 prototype of several ships You'll, I like the meaning with the engines generating energy for the uh, braking engines to power up the jet engines ion drives Send to everybody else that thinks this is a potential a good idea. Share, please, if you like. Uh, you know, have a good time. Have a good time in designing. We all we all love it. It may prove useful. You you just need to say save it. Just need to save it. It may prove useful in the long run. There we go. Thank you. Have a nice day. I hope you're gonna watch the video in full. <laughs>